Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you on a Thursday with Jaspie's 12 box Cinderella basketball mixer. Will there be will there be Cinderella stories in the 2020 NBA playoffs? We'll see. That's a nice giveaway right here too. What else we got going on here? Yeah, some solid boxes in here as well. Awesome. Random team break. The randomizer for the Zion will be at the end of the break. First, we're going to assign you a random team. Randomized names, randomized teams will match you up with somebody. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Names and teams, six times each. Two and a four. One, two, three. And six and final time. After six, we got a few Chris G's all the way down to Scott Claremont. And then let's assign you a random team. Two and a four, six times. And sixth and final time. After six, we've got the Sixers down to the Denver Nuggets. All right, Chris with the Sixers and the Cavs and the Hawks. Robert with the Suns, Anthony, last spot mojo with the Pacers, Chris Erickson with the Celtics, Kyle Cook with the Nets, Chris Erickson with the Warriors, Pascal, you have the Pelicans, Travis, Mavs, Nick, Jazz, JC, Hornets, Chad with the uh, Knicks, Ryan Anderson with the Heat, Drew with the Trailblazers, Corey with the Timberwolves, Christian, you have the Magic, Christopher with the Spurs, Cohen with the Bulls, Jonathan with the Rockets, Matthew Shearer with the Wizards, Chris with the Pistons and the Kings, Oliver with the Lakers, nice. Nick Stover, go Lakers. Uh, Nick with the Bucks, Travis with the Thunder, Daniel Graham with the Grizz, Darren with the Raptors, Brenton with the Clippers, and Scott with the Nuggets. A lot of different years here, so I think a lot of the different teams have some uh, a lot of different rookie hit potential. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. A lot of trade chatter, but no no deals were done. It's all good. Here on Thursday, the 20th, August 20th, 2020. Big thanks to everyone here for getting to our 12-box Cinderella basketball mixer. Will there be any Cinderellas? Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? There's the Zion we're giving away. So if there's any points, hopefully not, but if there's any points... The name on top will get the Zion. The second name will get any and all points that we pull from this break. Ideally, there will be none. Let's set that next to me right there. We're going to work in the, on this uh, mega box first. You can see all the box on the top camera as well. Good luck, everybody. Well, the Magic beat the Bucks in game one. Thought they might be Cinderella's, but Bucks beat the Magic 111 to 96. Which that scoreline actually makes it closer than the game actually was. I think the Bucks kind of took their foot off the gas, you know, in the second half. And there was a brief little run where you thought the Orlando Magic were gonna were gonna magic their way back, but it didn't quite happen. But that was that was a comfortable win. The Trailblazers beat my Lakers game one. Maybe they were going to be Cinderella, eight seeds in Cinderella's, but no. Lakers are up 30 right now with a minute and a half, what, 45 left in the third quarter. So hopefully the Lakers can just keep the uh, keep the defensive intensity up, have a clean fourth quarter, nice comfortable win, no injuries, and then we can move on to the next game. Game kind of hurt his hand a little bit on that reach in there. That's not good. All right, seventeen eighteen mega box first. John Collins is having a really nice future here. Tatum is what we're looking for. Or Donovan Mitchell. Here, there's a hollow Tony Bradley. Hollows are always nice. Let's let's leave that up. 
Now, the only vet commons that will ship will be LeBron, Cavs, and Lakers edition. Second year Luka Doncic is in 1920 stuff. And, um, and Giannis. Kobe, if any. Nice Jason Tatum. There he is. That'll be for Chris Erickson and the Celtics. And nice bam out of bio for the Heat, Ryan Anderson. This is this is a good one to get now. Miami Heat looking really good. They beat the Pacers 109-100. That scoreline also feels a lot closer. And Heat are kind of a scary team. Super solid, super consistent. Should we stay in 17-18 mode? Yeah, why not? 17-18, Donruss basketball. Great young team. They got weapons everywhere. You know, well-balanced team. I think they, they, they can be a pretty pretty big threat to the Bucks. Got lottery news. Timberwolves with a number one pick. Who goes number one? Kind of hard to tell with the without the tournament, All right? But Timberwolves will get the number one pick. D'Angelo Russell, Carl Anthony Towns, Jared Culver from last year could improve greatly. <coughs> Excuse me. Who's next? What would be a good addition to that team? Um, Warriors get the number two pick. Is this a case of the, the rich getting richer? Warriors with the number two pick, what do they do? My speculation is that the Warriors might trade that pick. Hi, Ray. What break is this? What, uh, looks like a looks like a mix of boxes, a mix of basketball boxes. I wonder if the Warriors trade that two pick. They move Pascal from last year and Jordan Poole, who had at moments looked really good. They're, those are two young, good assets that I think could be great. And do they package that with the number two overall pick, and then get someone? I think that's a possibility because I don't think do, do you think the Warriors want want to let to get some young guys and wait for them to marinate, you know? Uh, no, we took your name out. We'll 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 the customer service team will uh, will refund that order, Ray. But yeah, we took your name out already. Can't beat your super son. I feel like we'll send the Clippers up to you guys. Change them to the Supersonics. Bradley Beal trade, maybe? Will the Warriors trade for Bradley Beal? That would be crazy. All right, another 2017. There's D'Angelo Russell right there. Lakers edition. That would be interesting. Cause they don't. I don't think the Warriors want to wait for the young guys to marinate, while Steph Curry and Clay Thompson and DeAndre Draymond Green get older and older. So maybe they do move. The uh, you know this guy's not not getting any younger, right? So maybe they go big. Yeah, that was Kobe insert. Chris with the Hawks. 
Remember, Ryan, you do have a DVR function. You can rewind a little bit to see what the previous card was. Just remember to make sure you come back live so you're not lagging behind. But yeah, Bradley Beal? Wouldn't that be crazy? No, the inserts will ship, Ryan. It's just the veteran commons that won't ship. So I'll, I, I usually pull the vet common. If that was a Kobe vet common, I'd pull that so it ensures that it gets shipped out. It's Kyle Lowry. It's 299 So I think there could be some trading possibilities. David Downer, I think. Do you, do you agree? Maybe DeRozan to, DeRozan to the Warriors? Yeah, I, th I think it. I think it. It can happen. There's Kemba, Jersey Kings, Charlotte edition. JC with that one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who's who has expiring contracts. Who's how the the cap space? How that will work? Blah 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 blah. I haven't. This is all just. I'm just talking, you know. Just just rambling a little bit, but they're gonna have to make some kind of money work with somebody. There's Jordan Bell right there. So I, I think they're going to have to figure out who they can get, what they can get for what they're offering. Number two pick, even in this weird pandemic year, I think still valuable. Plus a couple players. There's Mike Conley, press proof. To 299 for the Grizz. Another Bam out of bio from Donris basketball. A center? Is there a position for upgrade? Do they need a center? I feel like they, they won a lot of games before without having a traditional center. I think they can I think they can make it work. They're Knight Dear and Fox. A fox in the box for Chris G and the Kings. Markel Fultz. It feels like he's just little by little improving game by game. Could still be effective in the playoffs. Jawan Evans. Auto autograph? Autograph. There you go. This autograph is guaranteed by... Yeah, nice on-card autograph. Black ink going to Brenton Young. Blake Griffin, I mean, yeah, I don't know if, yeah, I'm sure the Pistons want to unload that contract and everything. I don't know. Blake Griffin, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too sold on just because just that injury history always creeps up. Like, he's excellent for when he's healthy, but... Oh, did I pass Alonzo? That'll ship. There's all the depot to 99. There he is. I'll save one of those. It's OKC edition of Ola Depot back there. More Cavs edition of LeBron James. And a nice Tatum. That's the one we're looking for there. Jason Tatum, Chris Erickson, and the C's. My rivals. Actually, I think you're right. I don't think an autograph is guaranteed in this box. Yeah, it's one autograph or memorabilia on average. We usually see a memorabilia. 
Cavs LeBron going to Chris G. Yeah, that's why that auto is a little unexpected. Let's stay with 1718. This time we're going Optic. Donruss Optic Basketball 1718 edition. Oh, Kevin Pelton two hours ago. Should the Warriors trade their lottery pick? ESPN Plus article. Yeah, I think I think I heard rumblings about that just long before when it looked like the, the Warriors would be a lottery team. They were just like, hey, are they gonna trade that pick? So as of now, as it stands now, yeah, it's Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Wiggins, Draymond Green. Because they have Marquise Chris, Eric Pascal, Jordan Poole, Kai Bowman still in the mix, right? Hmm. Interesting. They could just draft Wiseman at center. Yeah, but see, I, I'm, I keep thinking that they're, they're, they don't want to develop a player, right? Is Weissman, A, is he the type of player that's going to go bang? He's going to jump right in. He's going to help them win a title. I think they want titles. I think they're like, we had an embarrassing season, you know? I think they, I think they just want to go, you know, whatever it takes. I think they want to get, you know... Playoff caliber players, like right, right, right from the get go, with those, with with a trade, and go from there. But I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't looked carefully at what 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 centers are available or what sort of sort of hybrid centers are available because I don't think they need it. I mean, what it's a traditional center anyway, but but I don't I don't know if they even need that with the quality of Steph Curry and quality of Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. Dislocated left index finger? Is that what they said? Ow. Ooh, looks like looks like his hand swiped down to Anthony Davis in the ball. Ooh. And his on the follow through, just the force of it, on the kickback of Anthony Davis's shoe, his finger knocked ow. Looks like it hurts. De'Aaron Fox, Fox in the box. Rated rookie, non-hollow, Sundarius Thornwell. Westbrook. Oh, I thought that was numbered, but it is a parallel. It was gonna ship anyway. Andre Drummond's a free agent, Ryan, eh? Oh. That's interesting. Andre Drummond's pretty good. I think I think maybe he just wasn't super motivated last year, but I guess we'll save uh, Jonathan Isaac Hollow. All those hollows are nice. Base Lonzo, rated rookie for the Lakers, Ollie. That's 
That's the 85 right there. Nice. There's a Jason Tatum. There we go. And a silver LeBron James. Court Kings. Cavs edition. Oh, he still has a... Okay. David Downer saying he still has an option. Okay, yeah. No way he's going... I agree. I agree. All right, so... So yeah, you're right. Yeah, I thought he I thought he was free. I, Ryan suggested he was free agent free agent, you know what I mean? But he's not. Still still has a year left. He's not opting out. This is more 2017-18. Still in 17-18 mode. I think we'll stay in 17-18 mode for a little bit. We've got one more 17-18 box right there. We've got a Court King 17-18 back there. Then we'll do this box of 18-19. And then we'll work into some 19-20 stuff. Not even a base net card? That's a lie, Kyle Cook. I'm sure there were many. No hits yet, though. No, no way they're moving Clay. Didn't they just pay him? Clay in the number two for Ben Simmons? I think they'd be more inclined to be like, here, here's Eric Pascal. Here's Jordan Poole. Here's Kawhi Leonard. Here's future picks. And the current number two pick. Find yourself a new new point guard. Ryan A, I think you've named every center in basketball. <laughs> you, now you're gonna think that you think they're gonna sign Dwight Howard. Well, the conversation is, what are they gonna do with that number two pick? Though I feel like there's value in that number two pick. This is not about what do they just need, but. I think we're talking about what kind of value can you get out of the number two pick plus some couple young players that they have. Will they try to even move that number two pick? You know, that's the conversation we're having here. There's LeBron, Cavs. There's Jamal Mashburn. Autograph for Charlotte. Nice. That'll be for JC and the Hornets. This is status. I don't know if they even have this anymore. I think after 17-18, they stopped doing it, but I kind of liked it. I liked it too. I thought, you know, I thought they could could use like a little, a little updating, a little love here and there, but I, I really like the, the idea of this. But yeah, it, it must have merged into another product or something like that. There's Miles Turner to 67 and Jonathan Isaac. Here's some more 1718. Yeah, on Carazzo would be not. I think the price point was was that was such that uh, there wouldn't be too many on there would not be too many on card autos, but I remember it being a nice set when it came out. Right, 
there's Brooke Lopez. Enos Cantor. Tony Bradley. Points in the paint. Kevin Durant. We got Caleb Swanigan, level three. I think Court Kings has on card autographs, right? There's Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Nice low number to 25. Hornets. Oh, and poor Gordon Hayward, man. There he is, three color jersey and autograph. I think rookie autos tend to be on card in here. But poor Gordon Hayward, that guy, that dude cannot catch a break. Chris Erickson with the Celtics, nine out of 10. I feel bad for the guy, even though I hate the Celtics. Zach Collins, Art Nouveau, as a Lakers fan. But still, you know. And a Zach Collins, Art Nouveau relic for the Trailblazers, Drew Kerr with Portland. Any guesses? A 6'11", 22-pound Milwaukee Buck. Is that too easy? No, Oliver got it right away. He's a big dude. <laughs> and remember, this is seventeen, eighteen. I think he, I think he might have added some, added some more muscle. By then, doesn't two twenty two seem a little light? I feel like he's he's added some muscle since. This is 2017-18. All right, Bucks with that box topper. That's going to be for Nick Stober. Ryan A, Ryan A saying yes. What's he listed at right now? Giannis is listed at 242 right now. That top chrome isn't moving? That should be moving. That might be our last break of the night. Jason Jaspi said he'd be uh, he'd be down to knock out a couple straggling breaks later at night. But if it doesn't sell out, he's going to be here early in the morning, so if it doesn't sell out, we'll just see you in the morning. There he is right there. There's Giannis. This is 18-19 Giannis, and they still have him at 222. You know, Warriors can move Jacob Evans, too. They got some young fun if Jacob Evans is on that team. They can move some guys. All right, let's move on to... Are we moving on to 2019-2020? Yes. Oh, no, let's, let's go back to 17-18. All right, here. Good luck, everybody. Kyle 
Kyle Cook, you think Gian Giannis is on roids? Getting up to uh, getting up to two two forty two. Other comparable weights people also search for, according to Google. Kevin Durant, two forty. LeBron James, two fifty. Zion, two eighty four. I feel like Zion could use lose like twenty five, right? He's young, though. If you know this, you know this, I know this. You know, he could be a little more lim limber. Limber? Pelicans know this. <laughs> that is like linebacker size, isn't it? Maybe, maybe do some cross training with the Saints. Yeah, Zion 66284. 66284. JJ Watt 65289. <laughs> Pretty much the same. Can you imagine Zion as a defensive end? Oh. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Are they or they probably make him a tight end at that point, right? A big tight end, with those hands. Or a defensive end? Ooh. With those kind of hops, he would just be knocking down passes. He's got that length. Man. Jay Trips, that's right. Let's go, Lakers. Let's go. Much, I feel much better about today's game than I did game one. This is might be a might be a roller coaster series. All right, so we're still in seventeen eighteen mode. Lakers up 101-77 with about 250 left in the game. Great response by my Lakers. Looks like they heard looks like they heard everybody. <laughs> and looks like they've addressed all the issues. They slowed down the tempo of the game, played defense, their offense started to click. All good things. Jared Allen, I like Jared Allen's game a lot. Ooh, what if we were they were talking about the war? What if the Warriors get Jared Allen? What do you think about that? I because I feel like the I really like his game. Yeah, there you go, Kyle Cook. Because I feel like Kevin Durant and Kyrie kind of want to build their own team. You know, maybe some guys are out of favor. You know what I mean? Maybe they're thinking somewhere else. Maybe, maybe if the if the Warriors send them a number two pick, you know, and uh, Eric Pascal or something. They would probably have to give up too much for him, Ryan says. But not if, not if the Nets want to. Not if Kyrie and KD are like, we don't want him. Then they lose that leverage. It's that leverage game. Sean Livingston, Burgundy Wave, I think Red Wave. All right, so nothing crazy in this box here. I don't know. It's an interesting conversation, in my opinion, because it's not too often that great teams like the Warriors, you know, that still have Clay, <laughs> that still have Steph Curry, right, and Draymond Green, it's not often that they end up with the number two pick the following year. 
Yeah, D Munn says, yeah, they can get rid of Jarrett. Maybe move, maybe put KD in the five spot. Kind of a small, yeah, but I, I mean, there's, basketball's different now. That tr The idea of a traditional center at the five isn't that necessary anymore. They, they could probably play KD at the five. And then maybe have a serviceable big man, you know, for matchup issues, you know what I mean? Which they could find. Jared Allen, I think, is great. If you watch him play, if you if you watch him play, protects the rim, can score some buckets here and there, get you double digit rebounds almost every night, but excellent defense. Warriors won't have a problem scoring. That defense is great. Him and Draymond playing defense, and then you have just like Wiggins and Clay and Steph doing work be interesting that's right demon yeah Dave's right the Rockets have a bunch of munchkins on the court in their winning games yeah different basketball these days but you know if they have if they have uh, Kyrie KD Karis LeVert add a couple young guys and a number two pick Charles Barkley's words, not mine, regarding the Munchkins. Apologies to, to little people. Right, and Nets still have DeAndre Jordan. Yeah, see? Uh, yeah. but I don't know. If you remember during the season, though, there was still, like, the the young guys on the Nets versus the the two guys that aren't really playing that often, Kyrie and KD, that are just kind of hovering over them making decisions about their career. You know what I mean? Like, we like this young guy. We don't like this youngster. Because, you know, ownership's going to let them do whatever they want, right? If they don't want Jared Allen, that guy's out. Done. That's it. If they like Jared Allen, he's going to stay. You know, so there, there could be a lot of movement from the Nets. I mean, basketball is kind of exciting in that way because there is a lot of, a lot of player movement. There's a good duo right here. Taco Fall. Hollow. There you go. Good job, Lakers. 111 to 88. Dominance. This is what the Lakers need to do. Slow down the team. Slow down the Trailblazers. I'm bummed that... I'm, I'm kind of bummed that Lillard has a dislocated finger, though. I want a full-strength Blazers team. Oh, David Downer, you're a net season ticket holder? Nice. I think that trade makes sense. Three-way, Nets get Beal, Wiz gets number two, Karras and Allen go to the Warriors. Ooh, Nets fan David Downer's into that. Am, am I off base, though? Like, KD and Kyrie are kind of still figuring out who they want on that team, right? I feel like there's a little bit of a locker room disconnect. Between those, between those two and the rest of those kind of younger sort of teams that kind of grew up together in, in a lot of ways. I think, I think things are just a little unsettled. There's Lakers, LeBron James, looking good. <laughs> right, yeah, those two did get, the, their, did get Nets coach fired too, which I don't think was a popular th thing. No, that's just, that's regular. Whoa, a one of one Luke Walton? There you go. Oh, player Luke Walton. Champion Luke Walton. There it is. He was the reason why. Lakers, Oliver with that one of one. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There you go. Luke Walton. How many chips does he have? Two-time champion. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. Ollie is a uh, is a Kings fan. That's that's their coach.
Hey, easy, demon. Luke Wallen's got two chips. Demon says Nick's getting the eighth pick makes you laugh. I I think some of the, I think Jason Jaspi was talking. Oh, I kind of want the Knicks to get the number one pick, big market, be good for the hobby. But I was like, man, Knicks always waste those picks. <laughs> like with Dolan running that team, man, they've they've wasted so many opportunities with good picks. All right, here's nineteen twenty select. Basketball. And then we're going to go Giannis hunting in this 1314 Crusade basketball box. And then we'll close out with those two mosaic boxes and look for some Zions and some John Morants. I really like those reactive orange prisms, so I'm saving that for last. He should sell, but I don't think he needs to or wants to fans keep filling up the garden no one's really that angry <laughs> they're still there it's not like they're irrelevant they still get clicks they still move the needle when they're talked about on sports talk radio or on espn we talk about them <laughs> you know what i mean Dolan's making money i mean really it'll just take a fan, a fan revolt. Yeah, Nick's still the most valuable franchise, NBA franchise, according to Forbes. I think some, was maybe it was you, David Downer. Someone was saying that the problem is, is that even if the fans revolt, it doesn't matter because it's like 50, 60 percent of those seats are being filled by like like corporate sponsorships and stuff from Wall Street, and you know what I mean. Bankers taking other Wall Street guys to Knicks games, you know what I mean. So like. So the fan revolt thing might not, I don't know. It's a tough situation. All right, here we go. There's Bradley Beal. You were talking a little bit about player movement there. You know, because maybe, you know, maybe the Wizards are like, maybe we can get rid of both of these guys and rebuild with Hachimura in a number two pick. I don't know, something, something. Bull Bull looked interesting during the reseeding games. These red waves are not numbered. There's Jared Culver. He might have a number one pick he's playing next to. He could evolve. He could emerge. There's Andrew Wiggins. That's still Timberwolves edition. There's Joel Embiid. Courtside Joel Embiid. He had a good game today. LeBron, Grant Williams, Red Wave for the C's. Tal Horton Tucker. I don't think they needed him today. There's Tyre here, a rookie. Yeah, I hear you, D. Munn. R.J. Barrett. I don't think shown. I think he can show a lot more next season. Tyler Hero's looking good. This is a good good guy who could uh, increase his stock. Playoffs will help him increase his stock. Cameron Johnson, Luka Doncic, SGA Red Wave. Cameron Johnson looked all right during the reseeding games when the Suns went undefeated. Suns could be an interesting net. Oh, look at this. Nice. Red Wave, Tyler Hero. This looks like courtside, doesn't it? It does. That's the shortest print in select. All these select cards will ship, by the way. They're all, they're all essentially parallels. That's nice. Miami Heat, Ryan Anderson. This guy's been playing well. Contributing positive mints next to that guy. There's a Zion. The Jared Culver Silver. He's a top 10 pick. Right? Got D'Angelo Russell next to him. Carl Anthony Towns, number and a number one overall pick. Zion going to Pascal. 
with the Pels. More Zion opportunities in those two last those last two boxes. Pascal, we're not done yet. All right, so speaking of Giannis, this is his rookie year right here, 13-14. All right, Giannis maybe? Joe, I asked you for eBay advice when I had about 70 feedback over a year ago. You told me there was no easy way to build sales and just grind it out. And you just recently hit 1,000 feedback at 100%. There you go. Good job, John Samuelson. You're welcome, man. Thank you. And Jaspies, he says. Hey, and now, if you hit like a $10,000 Zion, you're, you're going to be able to sell that on your eBay easily. Everyone will trust you. That's awesome. It is a bit of a grind, but once you, once you get over a few hundred, five hundred, thousand, you know, then then sales will be a lot easier. I think you start getting a little discount at some some different tiers. There's John Luer. There's Ray Allen, nice. Tony Allen. I'm just my eyes are just focused on a Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's a cool shack right here. The majestic relic, Magic Edition of the big Aristotle. That goes to Christian Woodland, Orlando Magic. Not numbered. Yeah. Hey, listen. I was honest. Yeah. I mean. I don't, I don't, I try not to make it a habit to lie to you guys, ladies and gentlemen. We try to be as, as truthful as possible, you know, and be, be as realistic as possible when you're either joining group breaks or when you're trying to resell stuff. It doesn't help us if we, for blowing smoke, you know. It's Kyle Korver. For 349. Some old school guys, more old school guys. That old school guy, 11 out of 199. Hardwood, homage, Fat Lever, uh, Nuggets. That will be for Scott Claremont. Wait, John, did you tell me you had a you had a new job going on? Did we discuss this? I feel like I blanked on what the new job was, but I just remember you got a new job. Rookie, Victor Oladipo, Magic Edition. There you go, nice. This is why I, I this is why I have like I have hope that like some some stars some high some draft picks that haven't really worked out yet could still bloom late because of this guy. Remember, bust right Orlando Magic bust. They shipped him to OKC. OKC didn't want him. Shipped him off to Indiana. And now look at him. That goes to the Orlando Magic, Christian Woodland. There's Drummond, Nick Young. Man, I miss Nick Young playing in basketball. There's Larry Nance Sr. to 349. And a 3 out of 5, Terrence Ross. Raptors. Darren Redding. That's not bad. Terrence Ross is pretty good. 3 out of 5, Raptors. Terrence Ross. 1, 2, 3. All aboard. The Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Is that second year Terrence Ross? There it is. Second year Terrence Ross. Not too bad. And a train whistle. There's Harrison Barnes. Xavier Henry and Dirk Nowitzki. All right. So no Giannis is in there. But we'll get him. We'll get him. Uh, no. You don't, you don't get free advertising on my channel. Get out of here. Do it the right way. Not the begging way. All right. Two mosaic hanger boxes left. Right here. With these exclusives. 
All right, so John, hold on, what, what were you teaching before? So you're a 100% online fifth grade teacher now. We just opened a virtual school. We hope to keep going even after COVID. Oh, I see. So this is not a COVID related, we're doing virtual stuff. This is just the future. I'm trying the whole online thing. Interesting. Middle school technology didn't like middle school at all. Yeah, middle school is a weird time for humans. All right, here are your orange. Reactive orange, Gary Harris, Gord, poor Gordon Hayward, Thomas Bryant, and Furkan Korkmaz. All right, so no John Morant, no, no Zions in here. I think I was all right in middle school. I think middle school is fun. But if I'm if I'm a if I became a teacher, middle school would be the last thing I'd want to do. Oh, what an awkward age! Not quite elementary school. Not quite high school, people developing, hair where there wasn't hair before. Oh. I don't know what an awkward time in, in life to go to school. Ooh, and that's a Genesis Markeith Morris Pistons edition. That's a, uh, it's a super short print. Not even a short print, but a super short print. Nice one for Chris and the Pistons. There's Westbrook. And your oranges are Blake Griffin. These aren't numbered, but they are exclusive to this hanger box set. DeLon Wright. Here's Magic Edition of Terrence Ross. He's been playing some good hoop recently, I want to say, especially in game one. Triple J, Jaron Jackson Jr. All right, none of the big rookie names here. Let's see what we got in this small little stack here. Ben Simmons. Ooh, NBA debut Kendrick Nunn. I'm okay with that. That's where the Miami Heat, Ryan Anderson. And there you go. Now, if you're thinking Joe, what a terrible break for me, is what you're thinking. But too nice to say it. That's all right. You still have a shot at this. Don't forget. Still have a shot at that. Gem Mint 10. Or maybe you're like, Joe, man, what a break. I had an awesome break. That'd be a nice cherry on top right there. So either way, you got a chance at that. No points, just the randomizer for the Zion. All right, so let me get some new... All right, so there's some new dice. There's a blank list right there. Let's gra grab uh, everyone's name. Chris with the Hawks, down to Matthew Shear and the Wizards and everybody in between. Everyone has a shot at it. Name on top after five, two and a three. Name on top after five, good luck. Fingers crossed, one, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. And thanks everybody for getting in. More mixers and more giveaways like this in the future. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. And the name on top is Robert Runkle. Robert, I don't think... What, what team do you have with Mozello381? You won that spot too, so even better. You won that spot. You got the Suns. Maybe a little Cameron Johnson here and there, but nothing too crazy. I don't think I called your name out too often during the break for the Suns. But not only did you save money on the spot itself, but you ended up with the PSA 10, the Gem Mint Zion. Concourse edition out of select basketball. I don't know how much this goes for, but I'm sure it goes for well, well, oh well over the spot and cost of the break. 
I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you and everyone else next time. Bye.